guys welcome back to another lumber tycoon 2 video today i am going to show you guys how you guys can find um, cave crawler wood so i know some of you have been asking how to find cave crawler wood some of you are concerned on how to do it all you know is that it's over there in the caves but you don't know how to get to it or you get lost while doing it today i am going to give you guys a walkthrough on how to find it the location of it and how to navigate that maze so first of all i'm going to go right here and well my base um so if you guys don't know what cave crawler wood is let's see i don't see anybody. nobody over here has any basically i don't have any either at the moment i've had it before but i don't use it on this base so basically cave crawler wood is that glowing blue wood you see in game if that helps anybody out it's glowing blue and so yes um Open my garage door. Boom. All right, so we're gonna go get some cave car wood. There's only a so the only couple things you need for this are a truck with lights, which obviously we have. You need some kind of axe, which obviously we have, and at least eight hundred dollars. Four hundred for the ferry on the way there, and then four hundred for the ferry on the way back, which. It is perfect timing because the ferry is just arriving, which is awesome. Um, okay, so does this guy have any uh, blue wood? I want to show you guys what it looks like if I can if I can show you. Uh, he does. They do. So can I go on the base? I I cannot. All right. Well, I can kind of show you guys from the outside. So if you kind of saw on their base, um, I like their fence. Kind of looks cool. So right there that glowing blue wood right there that is the blue going that is the cave crawler wood that is what that is what the cave crawler wood is the reason people call it blue glowing wood and stuff like that because they don't always call it by its name but it is considered cave crawler wood so we are going to go show you how to get cave crawler wood today what is going on today how is it going hoover Yes, I would need a ticket, please. Thank you. When will we be on our way? Alright, three minutes. Alright, perfect. So, that gives me a little bit of time to explain. So, cave, um, cave crawler wood. Um, you have to go through a maze, which is where you can find the painting shop. Or, you can, uh, you can find the painting shop. There's three people, I believe, that are down there that are hidden around too yes there's joel gecko and slam and i'm not gonna show you them today because it would just take too long doing all that together but i will show you uh how to get a cave crawler wood. i'll show you their locations on like a map but i am not going to show you where they are um but as far as as far as where the cave car wood is and how to get to it. Um, just give me one second, I'll get back to that. Um, hold, on, hold on one second, guys. Alright. So, as far as how to find the cave car wood. A lot of people use a map. I actually use a map that's how I found it first of all so I'm gonna show you guys using a map if that's alright um, just give me one second so anyways while we're waiting another uh, thing that cave car wood cave car wood does not get you a lot of money as a, as a matter of fact um, cave car wood is actually one of the cheaper woods I'm pretty sure the game it only gives you $35 a plank it takes six hours to grow so if you have a server open you have to wait six hours for it to grow um, but it is nice for builds especially if you're looking for like a blue contracts or something like that but it can be all sorts of different um, I'm looking for something quick. Give me a second. Uh... 
All right, found it. So this is a map of the cave system. So you, you entrance the entrance is here. You can go down, and go around here, and if you go around here, you'll find the painting shop back here. Um, but if you're going through here, these are the different walls that block all the entrances. Now for this entrance right here, I believe there is another wall and it's usually like right here or right here. I didn't have time to mark it in because I don't know the exact location, but there is a wall on this route. There is also an emergency exit right here, which goes to the safari. If you guys don't know where that is, I will show you, um, possibly after the video. Um, but basically every like 10 or 20 minutes, I don't remember exactly how it works, but one of these doors will open, and then one of these doors will close. So, like, for instance, if this one's open right now, and it closes, this one might open next. So, basically, when you leave, you have to look for that open door. Sometimes it's the same one for the variant of time. Sometimes it actually switches. So, it could be any one of these doors, which is the painful part. So, the nice thing is, you got the lights, you can see... You're going to kind of, like, I always use a map because it's easier to find your way around. You're going to kind of find your way around. you got to remember, you got to, like, memorize where you are. For instance, if you're at this exit, you got to remember to go back and then go like this. And then check these two. Or, for instance, go all the way back and then go around and check this one. Or go all the way back and then check this one. So, you have to find the one that's open in order to get to the electric biome. That's what it's called, electric biome. So, I'm going to have that on my off screen. Look at that, we're already almost here. So, it is nighttime right now in game. So, once you get Hoover to take you from the main biome to the other biome, which I can't think of the name for some reason, um, there is actually a couple things over here if you don't know. There is the shop right there, which you can buy different colored wires, electronics, as for like blue, um, wood building. Um, which, if you didn't know that where that is, it is, um, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm blanking out with the name of the shop for some reason, guys. Uh, it's been a bit since I've been to it. Um, but it is, look at, you just follow this road over here. Oh yeah, Lynx Logic. Yep, so Lynx Logic is over here. You guys can buy different colored wires and stuff like that. I can show you guys what's inside, actually, if you want. So if I open the door... All right, so inside we have different colored wires, which like neon wires. You got signal in inverters, OR gates. You got clock switches. All sorts of things in here. It's really dark in here because they're closed, actually, which explains that. But uh, they got all sorts of things in here that you can use for builds. That's where you find your hatches. You got pressure plates, which buttons, and then regular wire. But you got all sorts of things in here that you can use for your wood builds if you need to. They are open during the day and not at night. So like by the time I come back up here, they'll probably be open. Anyways, so now that you're on this island and you're looking for the cave for the wood, the cave for the wood is always located to the right. It's literally right here. See, so it's always on the right. It's a pretty big opening. It's kind of hard to miss. So. You go down and you're going to be on this. Is, so this is considered the entrance of the map. So once you get down here, you're going to go this way. And now you're going to want to start following the map. So for me, I'm going to start following the map. So once you get to the entrance, you got these two locations, which should, should still look familiar on your map. As long as you're reading it correctly. Since I knew, yep. All right, so I, I know exactly where I'm at now. We're gonna go this way. I'm just trying to remember where I am. I said one thing that sucks about this uh, maze. It's so big. Alright, so if I'm correct, there should be a... So there's... This is one of the blue doors. So it could be open. could be closed. This one is closed. Um, there's supposed to be another one right here. And there is. So, that means that I just checked 
both of these. So both of these are still close. So I'm going to go back and try this one. Alright. So I got to backtrack a little bit. This is why you want a light so you can see where you're going. Alright, so I want to go... Wait. Wait, I'm curious. Did I go the right way? So if I, if I went that way... Wait. Alright. Hold on, guys. So, I actually lied. So, <laughs> my bad. Um, there's actually a blue door right here. So, I just went this way. So, there's blue door here, blue door here. I'm not over here yet. So, there's blue door here, blue door here. This one, actually, I'm pretty sure is moved somewhere else and not there. That's why it's fuzzy in my screen. It doesn't actually exist there. Um, but anyway, so that's actually where I'm at. That's why I was confused. I was like, I swear it's not right. That's because this map is a little off. Um, it is very, most ac it is the most accurate one I could find online. So, if you guys actually need a picture of it, I'll just leave it right here for a solid second. Alright, now that you guys have a second. Um, but basically, that is the most accurate one that I can find, but now that I actually know where I am. So, let's see, we're back here. So, I want to go... There's the blue door right there. So if I'm correct, we go this way. Oh no. Alright, there's another blue door there. So, and then that's a dead end. So, we're gonna have to go. There's a couple more spots that could be open at. We're gonna try a different method. We're gonna try a different way. All right. So go back. If I'm correct. This is the entrance back here. Guys, I'm a little lost. Right, I'm actually lost. Oh no. Alright, so I'm gonna look for something that would help me get out of here. So that's the one thing that sucks about this area is you can easily get lost. Which I just got lost, so I have no clue where I'm going right now. Okay, so we just found a blue door. Alright, so if I can figure out where I am from here. Alright, so I basically backtracked to where I just was. Wait. Oh my gosh. I got it. I made it all the way. So, <laughs> I don't know how I made it that far. I am all the way over here right now. So, I'm right here. So, I actually am close to the emergency exit, sort of. But, anyways. So, um, I'm going to backtrack. Here should be the entrance. Yeah. Wait, where am I going? going? Alright, go back here. Alright. So. Alright, so this is the entrance right here. Alright, so. Now that we're back here at the entrance. I want to go this way. This 
way, this way, this way. All right, so we just found the last blue door, which means that this is, so we just found the last blue door right here, which means that I'm assuming this is the open entrance. If not, the only open entrance would be uh, the other direction, which would be a very fun direction to go. So we're gonna try this direction. All right, so far so good. Do, 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 do. And the reason you wanna know where the so okay, there's the last blue door. So Yep, that's where the okay, so the last blue door is right here. Yep, so found this entrance. So there should be another blue door right here. But there isn't. Alright, so there's no blue door here. And if you don't know, right here is Yep. So this would be geek if you guys don't know. I know my wait. Where's this hit? I know my boat shop is down here somewhere. There is no boat shop down here actually, guys. So don't let that fool you. There is no boat shop down here. Um, but it'd be cool if they did have a boat shop actually, because you'd be able to go across the palms and stuff. Um. Anyway, so just there. You need to go this way. Go around in a circle. Alright, and if I'm correct, we should be here. And boom. So now we are at the blue bomb, which usually is more than just this amount of trees in here. This must be a newer server, but so this is what the wood looks like. Which ah my truck's driving away. Alright, we're gonna stop it right here. So this is what the wood looks like. It's very big, very tall, very bright and neon color. Um if I were to chop it down this tree, which I'm gonna go ahead and chop it down because I'm gonna take a little bit home with me. I don't want a lot, but so you got the dark blue bark, and then you got the light blue interior, which is the kind you get when you mill it. So I'm gonna chop this up a little bit. All right, I don't want that part, but I'll take this part, and then we'll call it. Um, so. Ah. I don't need this. I'll take this. Start loading it up in my truck. Oh, almost knocked my truck out. Alright, so here we go these other three pieces. I honestly don't use blue that much. The only reason I'm more or less getting it is for the fact that it's useful. Um, like I said, some people use it, some people don't. I don't tend to really use it, um, but lots of people do. The other thing about this wood is that lots of times the trunks are bigger than most sawmills, which is very weird, but I guess that was maybe an intended feature. Um, anyways, after you got your blue wood, now you just gotta navigate out the same way you came in. So for me, that would be the method, that would be the path I just use. Um, I'm... I'm not gonna show you guys the safari exit for the fact that it's, uh, one of the more commonly mistaked exits as not many people use it and when they do use it it causes issues so we're gonna go that way
Oh boy. Now I don't know where I'm at. We got two blue doors. We got two blue doors. Nice. Oh, I know where I'm at. I think. Alright, let's go back up. So we got this piece of wood that's glitched. It's bothering me. Alright, so we're gonna try to get that blue piece of wood out. It's glitched my truck and it's causing a bunch of issues. Um. I guess I'm gonna start to cut it and hope that it unglitches. Um. the heck there we go all right it's been bothering me it's been making it have to click on the wood which is um anyways so now that we got it out all right should be a lot less yeah there we go okay so go like this so we got wood over here and we got wood over there That's the one thing that sucks about this, is it's such a big maze that you don't know where you're going half the time. Alright. I know where I'm at now. Alright, we're good, we're good. So, if we go this way. Like I said, after you figure, like, if you find something that looks different on the map, or something that's different from something else, you can usually find your way around. Which is how I do it. I look for the different features, like for instance, the way that inclined there, I'll look for that on the map. Or the way that this branches out. So, while I'm right here, I could show you guys the painting shop. Yeah, I'll show you the painting shop while I'm down here. So, over here is the painting shop. If you guys are ever looking for that. And I'm actually going the wrong way because I passed it. Um, yeah, I did pass it. All right, it's this way, my bad. So, if you guys are ever looking for the painting shop, it's not this way. <laughs> oh. This thing is confusing, like I said. Alright, I know where I'm at now. Once again, my bad. So you gotta go this way. Yeah, this way. Alright, so you got the painting shop, which is just around this corner. Oh, there it is. I just drove by. Right there. So, over here is the painting shop. It is once again hidden down here. I, I like their music. But, this is where you can find the different paintings that they have, for instance. The goose right here, and it costs them like so much money and stuff. Like for instance, they got this one. And they've got the pineapple, which cost twenty-four, uh, two million four hundred thousand hundred thousand dollars. I don't know why it costs so much for a damn pineapple. <laughs> but uh, anyways, you got different paintings like the giraffe, the boat. You got frozen, like the, I don't know. I call it frozen because it's a big ice but sculpture. But then you got Timothy here, and he'll sell you paintings and stuff. They do have a limited edition stuff here. For instance, what was it? Ah, uh, my earlier like, I can't remember what they had here, but they had oh, they had the speckled turkeys here. I didn't get any of them because I didn't get a chance to get down here during Thanksgiving. But last year for Thanksgiving, they had speckled turkey down here, so. That's the nice thing about knowing where the painting shop is, is it shows you where you can find uh, limited edition items sometimes that spawn down there or that default you puts in the game and hides them down there. So if you're ever looking for like a limited edition item that you might be missing out on, they sometimes spawn down there. So that's the nice thing about holidays is you always want to check everything to make sure that you, you know, you have the right, all the limited edition items, you're not missing anything. So, 
Once again, we are on the entrance ramp. Right. Open it's day. It might be night again, depending on how long we stood out there. Open it's day. Alright, so. That is how you get blue wood, guys, if you guys are wondering. So, and then all you gotta do is take the ferry and go back home. Which, of course, Hoover is nowhere to be found. Especially when I need it. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Obviously, you got the blue wood. Just take it back to your base, plane it. Um, but once again, that is how you navigate the ma um, the maze. Once again, here is a picture of the maze in case you guys are at all curious on what it looks like. This is a better screenshot if you guys need it. Once again, any of those doors could be open. It just depends which one opens up. Most of the time that I've seen, it is this route right here. The one that I'm showing right now. It is this one usually. I don't know why it is, but it's usually this one. So, if it's not this one, it might be this one. It might be this one. But, yes. So, there you guys are. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked, enjoyed. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I will get guys back to you guys with another Lumber Tycoon 2 video.